you're like me, you love fresh fish. And today I'm really excited that we're gonna find out about how to fillet a fish and not have any bones in it at all. So to do that, we're gonna show you how to go from this beautiful walleye to these beautiful fillets. And to help us do that, I have with me Joel Anderson. Welcome, Joel. Hello, Judy. You caught this fabulous fish and these fish. Yes. Yes, you did. And you're from White Bear Lake. Tell us a little bit about your background and how you became such an avid fisherman and how you came up with this technique. I was fortunate to, enough to grow up uh, in the wilds of Canada and enjoyed walleye fishing all my life. I still enjoy it. And uh, about 25 years ago, I was thinking there's got to be an easier and better way to fillet walleye. And I developed one that I'm very proud of. And I think I can teach it to your viewers today. I'm going to take uh, a walleye and show you how people normally start these fish. The um, side fins are lifted. Mm -hmm. You move up and cut closely behind the head, kind of at an angle where you cut down halfway through the fish to the spinal cord, which runs from the head to the tail. And you can feel that as you hit yes, that. Yes, okay. as you hit that. And the ribs are angled in essentially that same okay. direction, angled right in this towards area. Towards the back. Thing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, traditionally, people then put the knife in the cut mm -hmm. near the spinal column and feel for it to hit the rib tips or okay. the tops of the ribs and cut lightly through the back skin until they're halfway down the fillet. When they hit this second fin, mm -hmm. at the top of the fin, there's no more ribs, so they go through just above the, the um, ventral fin here, okay. and then press down on the knife so that you're against the backbone, being sure to get all the meat, uh, and then they go almost all the way to the tail. Okay. Then they go back to the ribs, and carefully cut around the ribs. Now, as I start this, I, I hit a stage where I'm hitting the rib uh, projection ribs that I'm mm -hmm. going to describe to you. Okay. The um, projection ribs have to be cut around um, or cut off to proceed cutting around the rib cage. Mm -hmm. But you're going to see a lot of uh, good meat on the lower portion of this fillet okay. is lost by trying to cut around these ribs as carefully as possible. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling the ribs, so I've got to keep cutting into the meat to get around the rib cage. Now, mm -hmm. the problem with that is that you lose um, a lot of meat because the rib tips go almost to the skin. You'll end up with a fillet that oftentimes is missing a little bit of meat or has very thin tattered areas mm -hmm. when you're working around the rib cage and you see that meat right right wasted right here now i'll show you the advantage of the new technique on the other okay. half of this fish all right now the method of removing the ribs is different but the final result is somewhat similar, except okay. it'll be a little more uh, meaty all the way around. First of all, I cut down as before to mm -hmm. till I hit the backbone. Okay. Then turn the knife sideways and simply remove the side of the fish, the other side of the fish, mm -hmm. holding the knife down so you get all of the meat and cut it right off. You just cut the whole thing off. Absolutely. Okay. And this is imperative to do the next step, okay. which is to remove the ribs without losing the meat okay. on, on the belly portion of the fish. And by the way, that is good meat. Mm -hmm. And you have to take a, a sharp knife. You hear the bones being cut here? Yeah. Those little ticking sounds? Mm -hmm. Those are the same radio bones that, that we're going to have to cut out again, but I'm going to remove the ribs. Now I've cut just lightly under the rib cage. Mm -hmm. Now I can't pull this out by lifting on it or by pulling it down or it's by pulling it right. uh, up this way or any other way, but I can remove these ribs without losing much meat at this okay. stage. And I'll show you the important thing. The ribs can be removed if you twist the rib 
and pull on it in the right direction. Okay, twist the rib and, and pull. And you only need to twist the front rib. Mm -hmm. I pull back to the tail of the fish. You're pulling and watch straight what's gonna back. Happen. There's all the offending ribs. See them? Oh yeah. There's they the bones. they pull yeah. right out, and you didn't tear the walleye fillet. Wow. We're gonna have a lot more meat there. Now you still have the same um, on that center line. Okay. Those little bone that, projections. Yeah. Feel right there. Oh feel yeah. Them? Yep. I feel them right through here. Yeah. Most people would say this is a boneless fillet. It isn't. Go halfway back. Cut closely either strip. side of that center line. Then you remove the skin. Now, for transportation purposes, sometimes you want to leave the skin a on. Bit of the skin on right? And if you're worried about freezer burn. But look at this fillet in comparison. Yep. No absolutely. tears. And again, I have now cut either side of that center line. Mm -hmm. So I'll remove the same set of little bones, the offending bones, that are in the fillet we just finished. Again, back down to the till you hit the backbone. That's mm -hmm. that's firm. Twist the knife sideways, holding the knife down so you're right against the backbone, sliding the knife. You should come out on top of both the ventral and the secondary dorsal fin okay. here. Okay. And then cut it off. And there you go. Using just the tip of the knife, cutting under just the ribs, you're, you're feeling, can you hear the ticking yep. sound? Going through those little projecting bones off each of the ribs that goes right to the skin. The, remember, these projecting bones are right oh, here in this right medial line. There, yep. and if you feel there, you'll feel those tips. Feel down this way. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Feel them? I've felt those many a time. Yeah, <laughs> in hopefully in not in your, yeah, <laughs> in your mouth. Again? Trying to go shallow, right under the ribs, and cutting through those projecting sensory bones. You'll have to, you'll have to cut through them. Okay. And then the big key. Here's the big trick. If you were to try to pull this off anyway, other than by pulling it straight down across to the tail, you will tear the belly meat apart. Okay. But if you do like this. You twist it, you roll it over like this. Hold That's the walleye fillet down, and you'll notice I'll start pulling, and what'll happen is, this can go very quickly. I don't have to go slow like this. If I just get the top rib, normally I can just wow. zip it right out. Like a zipper, exactly. Yep, and it's torquing each bone in turn as, as you pull it back. In other words, only one rib at a time is really taking the pull, mm -hmm. and it's twisting because you're pulling back this layer of of uh, ribs. The only thing now left is this little set of bones right on the medial okay. line, and again, you can feel them. But I just uh, want to verify, yes, bones are Most there. people would say this is a completely flayed fish, mm -hmm. absent bones, and they're wrong. You have to cut down either side of that center line, Skinny as you can, either side of, of that set of bones, straight down. You might as well do it on both. This is where it speeds it up to have a bunch of fillets laying out here in the same mm -hmm. state. And then, um, slip it off the skin. Again, holding the knife flat and down. And you should end up with a product that looks like very nice. That. Got some healthy fillets and there. Let's take out that center ribs area. Joel told me he caught a, what was it, almost 12 mm -hmm. pound walleye. That was an awesome. Have you caught anything larger than that as far as walleye? Well, or was that? Yeah, I, I'm pretty successful at looking for big You're ones, but I, I normally don't uh, kill a fish that yes. big unless. It's going to be for the wall or something. Right, right. But that had to be pretty exciting. It Fishing is. is fun, and yeah. you have a great technique. I think it's you know seemed really fairly easy to me. I I'm not a fish fillet,er but I would be willing to try it now and and. Uh, uh, show up my husband a little bit on the fish fillet. I think I'm going to challenge him to a fishing fillet duel. 
There you go. And I'm sure that if you uh, wait until he's got his fillet intact, laying on the board, and say, wait a minute, you've left a bunch of bones, and do that little finger That's thing in the middle, good. it'll yes. raise his eyes. Sounds good. Well, Joel, thank you so much for sharing this technique. You don't really have a name for this technique, though. I think we should nope. name it today on the show. <laughs> All right. Well, you think about it, and if you come up with a name, you let us know. But right. it's a great technique, and we encourage all you fisher folk out there to give it a try. And I think you'll find that you, you do get a lot more meat, and it is actually boneless, and that's the key. Thank right? You. Thank you, Judy. Thanks, Joel.